Alright guys, welcome back. Paradox here, and we're just gonna get right into this. Uh, sorry for the lack of content. Um, it's been a stressful few days, however, today's been a good day, and it felt like pressing that record button. So, let's get right into this. We're against the Boston Bruins, round one. Uh, we're gonna take a look at their team right away here. Uh, just to get a refresh on what their team's looking like versus ours. And the Boston Bruins, we got DeBrusque, Bergeron, Pasternak, Richie, Krejci, Coyle, Nordstrom, Corrali, Bjork, Richie, Kruger, Gaunt, uh, Krug, McAvoy, Chara, Miller, Grizzlick, Moore. So they do have some injuries, Marshan, Carlo, and Kosh, Koshe. So... That's something that we need to focus towards, uh, scoring on them uh, versus letting them score on us with their injuries. So we got to take advantage of them having those injuries and definitely score on them. Uh, Tuka Rask in that for them as well. And just as a refresher as well, uh, go through our lines real quick. Kapanen, Matthews, Marner, Nylander, Tavares, Kerfoot. Uh, Johnson, Jost, Hyman, Mikheyev, Gauthier, Clifford. That's our forward core defense. Be looking like Riley, Dermott, Muzzin, Barry, Sandine, and CeCe. So that's looking pretty good. And our def uh, goalie, rather, is going to be Frederick Anderson. We have no injuries, remember. So we definitely got to capitalize on them having injuries and hopefully get past round one. So let's get right into this. Let's sim up to game one. Sim the first two periods and real time sim the third period. And then if we're tied and we go to overtime, then that's when we go in and watch it. All right, ready? First period. Nice. So one nothing Kerfoot on the power play goal against Rask. 14-44. That's pretty good, Alexander Kerfoot. All right, out shooting them 16 to seven. Let's go second period. All right, two nothing. Matthews on two graphs. Very good. Twenty nine to eleven left shots. Let's sim the third period here. Hopefully we keep this momentum going into the third. So let's see. Fifteen minutes left. We're getting those shots on net, which is good. Ten minutes. Nylander on Rask puts us up by three. Power play. Can we get one? Nope. It's okay. Five minutes left. Three, two, one. Zero. All right, so we take game one. Game one is ours. Let's check out the three stars. So Nylander, Kerfoot, and Matthews. Honestly, I wouldn't put Nylander as a first, maybe second. And then uh, Kerfoot probably be the first in my opinion, just because he got that opening goal. But I guess Nylander with two points. Give him the first star, why not? So let's go on right on over to game two. We're in Toronto as well, so we got home ice advantage. Forgot to mention that, but game two, let's get right into it. Let's see here, first period, nice, one nothing. They are out shooting us 11 to nine, but Tavares did get a goal on Rask, so that's good. All right, second period, nice, three nothing. All right, power play goal from Kerfoot and Marner. Nice, that was uh, four minutes apart from those two goals there on the power play. Uh, Boston's still out shooting us 22 to 19. As long as we can defend the worst lead in hockey, three nothing going into the third, we should be up in the series, two nothing. So let's go third period right now. Let's get it done. All right, Kapanen four, Tavares five. Let's keep scoring, guys. We're on a roll right here. We're getting our shots even, close to even. They're still out shooting us 28 to 24. Power play, get something. Nope, five. Penalty kill, good kill. Five minutes left now. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, nice. Five nothing win. I'll take it, boys. I'll absolutely take it. Three stars again. Let's check it out. Frederick Anderson with the shutout. Tavares with two goals. Alexander Kerfoot with the goal and two assists. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we're on a roll here. Um,. I do want to check. We're now at TD Garden. So we're in Boston now. Let's check to see if the Bruins have got any of their injuries back. Just in case to watch out for them. So it doesn't look like they got any forwards back. Defense, did they get? Nope. All right. So everybody's still injured. 
So Kashe, Carlo, and Marshan are still all injured, which is very good on our end. Let's just continue playing the way we've been playing and just get this over with. Get round one over with. We don't even need to consider that this is a huge rivalry versus the Boston Bruins. All right, first period, boys. All right, tied 1-1. They got they got a goal. Patrice Bergeron. But it's okay. We're out shooting them 11-10. If this game was fair, we'd be up 1-0. But it's not fair. And this is actually more realistic, to be honest. So let's go. Second period. All right, 3-2. We'll take it. Was looking for a little bit of a more a little bit more of a lead but i guess i'll take it mikhaev and kerfoot 38 seconds left power play goal and we did take a penalty uh mcavoy scores a power play goal as well so unfortunate but we're taking that one goal lead into the third period let's defend it let's defend it we're out shooting them 27 to 20 right now all right let's go power play can we get one no penalty killed by boston 10 minutes left all right Let's keep getting those shots on. That's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Dermot with the empty net. Four to two wins. So we're taking the series. <laughs> we're taking the series three nothing. And I'm laughing because Boston tends to win in game seven. Uh, let's uh, knock on wood there. So hopefully nothing goes wrong there. But those were your three stars. I didn't actually look at it too well, but y'all saw it. All right, game four in Boston. Let's see. Take another look. Did they get their injuries back? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. And this will be a clean sweep for us. Marshan is back, which is not good. Carlo's not back, so they still have Kashe and uh, and uh, Carlo there injured. So, but Marshan is back, so... Hopefully he doesn't, you know, come back with a hot streak for the Bruins. So uh, let's get this fourth fourth game over with here. So let's go, Toronto. First period, one nothing. That's what I like to see. Travis Dermott on Tuka Rask, 9 minutes, 13 seconds. It's good, good goal. Shots are tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. Second period, 3 nothing. Let's go. Out shooting them 21-19. to 19. Tavares. On Rask and Nylander on Rask. We're looking hot. Do not blow the worst lead in hockey, boys. Toronto Maple Leafs, you best be defending this. Third period. Let's get it done. On the power play. And Krejci gets a power play goal. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of a longer one. And it wasn't too bad. That's good. DeBrusk, this isn't looking good. Ten minutes left. Power play for the Boston Bruins. Let's go. Nylander scores. Four to two. With five minutes remaining in the third. Are we going to sweep them? Three, two, ooh, Grizzlick within one. And we sweep the Boston Bruins. We sweep the Boston Bruins. All right, boys. William Nylander with three points, two goals, one assist. Tavares with two points, a goal and assist. And Kerfoot with two points, two assists for him there. So Kerfoot's really... Really popping off along with Nylander and Tyson Berry's injured with a sore foot. We're just going to replace player. Hopefully he comes back. I didn't actually read when he's coming back. So hopefully he comes back for next round. Who that is going to be, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see here. Next round's going to be versus who? It's taken a while. All right. And it's going to be the Carolina Hurricanes. All right. And we do have home ice advantage, which is very nice. Let's take a look at the stats for round one. So not that's regular season stats. Didn't want to take a look at that. And player stats there. All right. For the playoffs. So Nylander, eight points in four games. Very good. Kerfoot, seven points in four games. Very good. So that second line really be popping off. To be honest, Morgan Riley with five and four, Marner with four and four, Matthews three and four, and that's the rest of the players for y'all to take a look at. And then let's take a look at Frederick Anderson, how he's doing. A nine four nine save percentage, that's very good. And then Campbell apparently came in for 
for a hot second to save 10 shots. So he's getting a, a 1.0 save percentage for Jack Campbell there. Very good, very good. All right, if you all want to take a look at the playoff tree, I did just back out, but I will show you the playoff tree. All right, so there's a look at the playoff tree. If we win, we're either facing Washington or Buffalo next. And then on the west, we got Minnesota versus Dallas and Vancouver versus the Chicago Blackhawks. So very good. I'm surprised Vancouver beat uh, um, San Jose there. That's actually very surprising. What? That's the way the playoff tree is looking, and let's take a look at the Carolina Hurricanes lines to see what we're up against. Now, Tyson Berry did not come back yet, so we do have an injury. Let's keep that in mind. Now, for the Carolina Hurricanes, let's see. They got Teravainen, Aho, Shvevnikov, Dzingel, Nikis, and Niederreiter, uh, Fogeli, Trocek, and Williams along with Martinuk, Stahl, and Gagne. So, that's the way their lines are looking like, their forward lines. And on defense, Carolina has Slavin, Hamilton, Shea, Vatanen, and Gardner, and Emmonson. So there's the defensive lines, goaltenders. They got Marazic and Reimer, so we definitely have them beat goaltending-wise. Uh, uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Hayden Fleury and Brett Pesci are all healthy scratches. So they do not have any injuries, whereas we have Tyson Berry injured. So take a look at what our defensive core looks like with Tyson Berry injured. So we did have to put in Justin Hall in there on the second line. So hopefully Berry comes back and can't have a video without that squeaky chair in there. Got to have that. So it's not telling me here when he's likely to return. So we're going to have to take a look at that injury report just because I missed it and I want to see when he's coming back. So let's take a look. He is unavailable to play returning April 24th. So he will be back for this round. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> He'll be back for at least game three. So let me know what y'all think. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios.